Let's sing Psalm 5. Psalm 5 Give ear unto my words, O Lord Consider my meditation Hearken unto the voice of my cry My King and my God my voice shall thou hear in the morning, O Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee and will look up. One more time. Give ear unto my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation, taken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For unto thee will I pray, my voice shall thou hear in the morning. O Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee and will look up. Thank you, Father, Lord, for this morning. Thank you, Father, Lord, for your grace and mercy and love. Cảm ơn Chúa về tình yêu của Chúa về buổi sáng hôm nay. Cảm ơn Chúa vì Chúa đã gửi chúng con dậy và mỗi buổi sáng. Sự thành tính của Chúa là lớn lắm. Xin Chúa tha thứ cho tội lỗi của chúng con. À, xin Chúa nhắc nhở chúng con vào mỗi buổi sáng chúng con có thì giờ à, đã hẹn trước để cùng nhau đi bổ sinh cùng nhau học lời Chúa. Xin Chúa nhắc nhở chúng con ở đây những ai mà đang quên thời gian để học lời Chúa. Xin Chúa nhắc nhở chúng con để chúng con biết và chúng con nhận ra rằng chúng con đã có thể đã thiết lập thời gian để học lời của Ngài. Cảm ơn Chúa nhiều lắm và xin Chúa nhận dắt nuôi tại của Chúa trong việc chia sẻ lời của Chúa trong sáng hôm nay với chúng con cầu nguyện trong danh Chúa Sư Chris. Amen. Psalm t- Matthew chapter 23 Matthew chapter 23 verse uh, Matthew chapter 23 verses Uh, okay, verses 16, starting to verse 16. Woe unto you, ye blind guides, which say, Whosoever shall swear by the temple, it is nothing. But whosoever shall swear by the gold of the temple, he is a debtor. Ye fools and blind, for whether is greater the gold or the temple that sanctifieth the gold. And whosoever shall swear by the altar, it is nothing, but whosoever sweareth by the gift that is upon it, he is guilty. Ye fools and blind, for whether is greater the gift of the altar that sanctifieth the gift. Whosoever therefore shall swear by the altar, sweareth by it, and by all the things thereon. And whosoever shall swear by the temple, sweareth by it, <clears throat> and by him that dwelleth therein. He that shall swear by heathen, sweareth by the throne of God, and by him that sitteth thereon. Woe unto you, the Pharisee, and and hypocrites, for ye pay tithe of mint and amis and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercies, faith. Thee ought to have done, not to leave all the undone. Ye blind guiders, which strength had a gnat and swallow a camel. 
Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye make clean the outside of the cup and the platter, but within they are full of extortion and exceeds or excess. Thou blind Pharisees, clean first that which is within the cup and platter that outside of them may be clean also. Woe unto you, scribe and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are clean unto white, whitest sepulchres, which in thee appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones and of all uncleanness. Even so ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because ye build the tombs of the prophets and ganesh, ganesh, ganesh the sepulchres of the righteous. But I say, uh, and say, if we had been in the days of our fathers, we would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophet. Wherefore, ye be witnesses unto yourselves that ye are the children of them which killeth the prophet. Fill ye up then the measures of your fathers. Okay. So starting verse uh, 16, uh, uh, actually it's not starting verse 16, starting uh, all the whole chapter 23. Uh, in chapter 22, uh, Jesus talked about the uh, hypocrites of the Pharisee and the Sadducee, that how they come and tempt uh, Jesus, and Jesus uh, uh, answered them uh, clearly and put them to silence. And they always sought the way to tempt Jesus. Instead of believing, they sought the way to tempt Him. Uh, so the same with all of us, uh, many Christians nowadays, instead of believing, we are trying to tempt the Lord. And uh, uh, starting verse 20, uh, chapter 23, uh, Jesus used almost the whole chapter to rebuke them. Uh, Verse 16, he said that uh, as ye blind guides, okay, which say whosoever shall swear by the temple is nothing, but whosoever shall swear by the golden of the temple he is dead. And uh, uh, the Pharisee taught the people that whosoever uh, uh, swear by the gifts on the temple is is a dead, is discounted. Uh, but uh, Swear by the temple, it is nothing. Uh, for them, that's the gift on the temple is more important than uh, the gifts on the altar is more important than the altar itself, and the gifts in uh, the gold in the temple is more important than the temple itself. But Jesus reminded them that it is the altar that sanctifies the gift. It is the temple that sanctifies the. Uh, gold and it is God who dwelt in the temple that sanctified uh, the temple. Uh, the Pharisee and the Sadducee, uh, the, uh, the scribes, the teacher of the law, they uh, they focus on the small things and they forget the bigger things, the greater matter, the greater matter, and. Uh, they uh, they see that uh, uh, that Jesus uh, rebuked them uh, again. That uh, um, where is that? Where is that? Over here. Yeah, the greater matter is judgment, mercies, and faith. Okay, they do not uh, focus and polish the judgment while they judge the people, uh, the mercies of God and the faith while they're offering, uh, while they're offering uh, the, sacrifice, the, the sacrifices uh, unto the Lord, 
they have to offer it by faith but uh, they forgot those stuff and uh, they just focus on the gifts how much gift that uh, the people gave and uh, they uh, fasting they return the tithe uh, they uh, do on the thing of the law but the greater matter of the law is judgment mercies and faith judgments mercies and faith are the thing that we cannot see it's only have the appearance uh, the appearance of judgment is righteousness when you judge something it should be fair the appearance of mercy is forgiveness and love thus the appearance of faith is devotion devoted so there is uh, an appearance of those things so they did not focus on those things because it cannot be seen that's why uh, Jesus told them uh, Jesus taught them, okay, Jesus told them, taught them uh, the two meanings of uh, worship, the two meanings that uh, God is seeking after, the two uh, worshiper, uh, the proper worship, and the attitude uh, should be of a scribe or and the teacher, okay, so, uh, he he compare the Pharisee and Sadducee as they uh, they they was they strained a uh, net a mosquito uh, yet they swallow up a camel okay they uh, is is the 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 gnat and the camel is uh, is a contradiction between the small and huge small and big. And uh, uh, the offer gold or small thing, uh, it just uh, like a snatch, uh, a net to a God. But uh, your inside is more important than the, what is performing outside. God is checking the heart. Okay, uh, are you really safe? Are you really humble? Are you really wants to obey Him? Or you just uh, pretend to be obedient, pretend to be devoted? And uh, uh, so the outside is just like a net, but the inside is more important. It's like a camel, okay? Uh, these Sadducee, uh, Pharisee, and the scribe, they ignore uh, the inside. And they just focus on the outside, okay. So, and uh, there's there's more than that. Uh, but Jesus uh, teach them again that uh, it's use it's same like the cup. Uh, of course, the inside is more important than the outside. Uh, when we eat, are we just going to clean the outside of the cup? The outside of the uh, uh, the bow, okay. Uh, are we just uh, are we are we uh, more focused on the inside of the bow? Of course, the inside, okay. Same like the rice cooker, the rice pot that we eat. The outside is black and full of charcoal, but the inside is full of white rice. So the inside is more important. But Jesus remind them again: clean first the inside and the outside also okay uh, it's not clean the outside ignore the inside and it's not also clean the inside ignore the outside but clean the inside and the outside also okay so that's what jesus is trying to remind uh, all of us here yeah, that's in our lives uh, we said we love god uh, we said we uh, devoted uh, to god it's only the inside God only God can see but you should uh, show it to the outside also so the people can see also okay so uh, uh, the Pharisee and the Sadducee uh, Jesus again compare them like uh, the uh, sepulchre okay 
the sepulcher outside is very beautiful. Okay, outside is very uh, nice uh, with colors uh, polished, but the inside is just bones of the dead person. Okay, and uh, the opposite of that is uh, like the rice cooker. Uh, outside is full of charcoal. Uh, the inside is full of white rice. Uh, that's give it life. Okay. So, uh, he said to the Pharisee that they are the one who built the tombs uh, of the prophets, okay, and the sepulcher of the righteous. Uh, because they said to themselves, if they uh, were their fathers uh, before, the ancestor before, if they had been staying with them, uh, if they had been in the days of their fathers, they would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. Okay, that is one of the proud and arrogance of the Pharisee. If I were with uh, all the people at the time of Moses, I would believe uh, Moses, I believe uh, Joshua and Caleb instead of other 10 reports. So that is what they are trying to say. Okay? That's what they are trying to say. Uh, but uh, compared to uh, the minor prophets and major prophets in like Isaiah, Jeremiah, Nehemiah, uh, especially Nehemiah, Nehemiah never say that uh, uh, I will not be like my father. But Nehemiah says, please forgive our sins and forgive the sins of our ancestors because you are great and mercy is God. So that's the attitude of Nehemiah. Okay. So what is the difference? Because Nehemiah never separate himself from the sins of the ancestor. Even he did no sin. Even he did not reject God, even he did not worship idols, but as the whole, the whole Israel was worshiping idol. That's why uh, he also being captured, uh, cap capture, uh, siege, and uh, brought to the captivity. So uh, uh, he did not judge himself as righteous, but he asked for the mercies of God. Uh, ask for the forgiveness of God upon his ancestors, his fathers. Uh, while these Pharisees and Sadducees, they neglect themselves uh, and they think they are better than, than their ancestor. Uh, but uh, Jesus said, No, because of your word, you truly say that you are the follower of your ancestor, the killer of prophets and righteousness. So, Therefore, uh, we Christians, uh, sometimes we proud and arrogant. Oh, if I were uh, the Israelite, I would not be stubborn. Oh, if I were uh, them, I will not do like that. Or if I were her, I would not do like that. But uh, that's not the right attitude. Uh, and God reminded, oh, it's not the right attitude. The right attitude should be, Lord, forgive me. Forgive my sister what they have done. Forgive her for they, for what she has done because you are great and mercy is God. Okay? So we should have the attitude of the uh, prophets uh, of God, not the attitude of the Pharisees that to see. So we pray, God reminded me again, we pray that God will forgive each one of us here for our lack of uh, uh, discernment, our lack of devotion, our lack of um, uh, punctual punctuation, okay, punctual what punctuation? Punch punch. What is the noun for the word punctual? Punctuation, huh? Punctuality. Okay, it's not punctuation. Punctuality. Okay, punctual is an adjective. A lack of punctuality. Okay, what is punctuality? Punctuality is means on time, be on time. Okay, let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this morning, for your grace and love and mercy, and for your reminder this morning, dear Lord. Help us, Father Lord, to move on 
uh, to be strengthened by you and uh, to treat other as ourselves Lord that uh, we will uh, be edified and may you forgive uh, other may you forgive uh, thy servant uh, may you forgive uh, Sin, Sam's, Ruta, Rona and for thy servant sin dear Lord and because you are great and mercy God who love us and Lord help each one of us here you have the heart of Jesus uh, putting faith putting judgment and putting mercies above all that we can glorify and magnify your name thank you father for all these things in Jesus name we pray amen